This video is going to take a look at uh, the skills that uh, students have learned to apply to make the T-bridle joint. So this is only a snapshot of what's going on in the room here. We can see that the video sped up a little bit and we've got people cutting out the trench. So the things to look, look out for here is the finger is a guide along the side of the saw, correct position in, in the bench hook. And there's a trench being cut out as well. Good grip of the chisel and mallet being used together. Well positioned in the vise, secure fixed. And uh, we have more shoulder lines being cut here. Again, good practice drawn back on the line to get it started. And finger along the side, good grip in the bench hook, well positioned. And that's all good there so far. A little bit short on the stroke of the saw. Try to use the full length of the stroke of the saw. And we have another man here cutting out the trench. We see the chisel and the mallet should be only used together. And a good steep angle used on the chisel. Could be gripping the handle a little bit more. And more trenching being carried out here. Again, the piece is positioned in the vise to allow for ease of working. Should probably leave the chisel down when clearing away some of the waste. And uh, the chisel correctly gripped, just been adjusted here. A little bit of a steep, bit overly steep angle on the piece in the vise. Should be put in a more comfortable angle. And uh, we can see in another piece of clearing out where the bench hook is used to elevate the right knee and then both hands behind the cutting edge to clear out the trench, which is very good practice. We see here the sawn along the grain. Dylan's going to demonstrate. He's got the finger as a guide, piece standing up, first of all cut down to the waist, well positioned in the vise at 45 degrees forward. And he's going to keep the saw as level as possible as he cuts it down towards the shoulder line. There's a little bit of movement in the saw, it should be a little bit straighter. My saws need a sharpen at this stage, I think. And he's going to turn it around now to complete from the other side. Good position of his hand as well, too, on the opposite side. You see that his hand is closed and thumb is a guide. He's starting off the saw cut, bringing it to level. And he's going to saw it down to the shoulder line on the opposite side. That's what we're looking at here. The saw should be finishing up level with the bench. He's a little bit of an angle on it. And he's positioning the piece now in the vise to finish off the last little bit of the cut. That is to be carried out on both sides of the saw and along the grain. And in this case, it's the middle section that's been removed. So that's the saw and along the grain part. And we can take a look to see the quality of his cut. And that's pretty good. And we can see the students here having a go at it themselves. A short stroke in the saw should be adjusted. The hand should be adjusted as well too, which is corrected there now. Finger along the side. Still some of the other skills being carried out here. You can see both hands behind the cutting edge of the chisel. Piece secure in the vise. Another bit of saw along the grain. Checking both sides of the line. Then cleaning of the shoulders as well too, where the thumb is on the top of the chisel and both hands behind the cutting edge of the chisel. Now a little bit of a, an adjustment on the technique here where the thumb is used and just cleaning down the little shoulder cuts. Lots of little piece, bits and pieces to catch on here. Uh, removal of the waist here probably would be better done on the bench. He's getting away with it there in the vise at the minute. This is going to be a little bit of a trench here. And we can see that he's got everything right. The angle of the chisel Use of the mallet and the chisel together, well secured in the vise, and he's working up towards the middle of the piece. Another thing to note as well too, the bench is reasonably clear. He could have put away the saw if he was finished with it. Would have left the bench clear. And here we have some more trenching as well. Again, good grip of the chisel. Maybe a little bit too much to, look, to be trying to take off too, too much at one go. We've got a piece here been sawn along the grain, a slight adjustment on the left hand, good stroke on the saw, and following it down to the shoulder line. You can see here some more sawn along the grain, good positioning right up to the bench when you're right handed. Chisel hand grip here in the chisel could be adjusted, he's finishing it off level. Should leave the yeah, should leave the, the mallet and the chisel down when he's going to make any adjustments. 
and we have a kiddo here working on the other side of the bench hook. The thing to watch for throughout the video is all the key skills that they're being carried out correctly. 